the Senate majority has argued that uh, the, the, the proposed bill sponsored by or introduced by Governor Cuomo is unconstitutional because it delegates the authority uh, of the legislature to a commission to initially draw the lines. It involves gubernatorial appointments. It treats it as a state agency. And so we asked uh, while Gottschall to take a look at these issues raised by the Senate majority and to uh, address them in this legal memo, which is part of the uh, materials that we're distributing today. Uh, so the conclusions of that memo are as follows. Uh, the creation of an independent commission tasked with the development of redistricting, redistricting plans does not violate uh, the separation of powers doctrine uh, because the commission itself does not enact the actual law. The commission is purely investigatory, investigatory an advisory body empowered only to recommend these plans, which the legislature may adopt, reject, or ultimately amend. It is therefore akin to numerous other commissions and similar entities within state and local government, such as the Law Revision Commission, the Commission on Public Integrity, and the Federal Election Commission. These commissions perform critically important functions, providing valuable information that the legislature may be ill-suited to obtain on its own, and where needed, producing recommendations that are insulated from distorting political influences. The second uh, part of this memo essentially deals with the governor's role in appointing members to the nominations committee, uh, which selects the candidate pool from which the independent commission itself is selected. Uh, while does not believe that undue executive influence on the commission's recommendations or otherwise, uh, or otherwise present an unconstitutional delegation of legislative authority. It is common practice for the governor to appoint members of an advisory commission that recommends legislation, such as the Law Revision Commission, and even uh, to select members of quasi-legislative bodies that issue regulations or recommendations that may have the force of law without legislative approval, such as the Judicial Pay Commission. The other uh, claim that has been made is that the designation of the commission as a state ag agency so, uh, is, in, is not proper. Uh, but we believe that the designation of this commission as a state agency is solely for the purposes of compliance with the public officer's law and the executive law and therefore raises no separation of powers concern. The applicable provisions su simply subject the commission's members and employees to certain professional restrictions, financial reporting requirements, and ethical rules, which is what we all want to see in government, uh, and that they in no way interfere with the commission's duties to the legislature, and to the public in drawing these lines. Finally, the guidelines imposed on the legislature in amending the commission's redistricting plan do not run afoul of the separation of powers doctrine because these restrictions do not delegate legislate, legislative authority to any other entity. These provisions, if enacted, would simply articulate the policies which would, which would guide the redistricting process. And any future legislative action repealing these guidelines would notify the public that the legislature is departing from these significant policies affecting the public interest. So these major four points refuting the Senate majority's claims that the governor's program bill on redistricting reform is unconstitutional have been refuted uh, in great detail and are contained within this 11-page document that lays out all the various case precedents upon which this legal analysis is based. State is closer than it has ever been in its history to changing the way redistricting is done. Uh, and as Barbara mentioned, uh, it's clear that the lines are currently rigged in New York to benefit the incumbents and the legislative majorities, and that could change if legislation is passed. Let me just review where things are at. The governor has introduced a program bill that creates an independent commission and has pledged in writing repeatedly to veto the lines if it comes out of the legislature under the current lousy system. In the assembly, as Dick mentioned, the speakers introduced the governor's bill with the vast majority of the members as sponsors of that bill. So in that house, we're in very good shape. In the Senate, it's a different story. Senate Majority Leader Skelos has done everything humanly possible to throw up obstacles. He's thrown up procedural obstacles. He introduced the governor's program bill at the request of the Senate Committee on Rules. So that makes it harder, if not impossible, to move the bill unless the senator wants it to happen. He's moved the constitutional amendment that just so happens doesn't go into effect until 11 years from now, and it contains in it bad provisions. So in the Senate, the strategy for us is different. Senator DeLon is circulating a letter right now 
uh, and we'll be releasing it soon, that has the pledges of enough senators to block an override effort in that Senate next year. If the governor has to veto the redistricting plan because the status quo prevails, Senator Skelos won't have the votes to do an override. So all eyes now turn to Senator Skelos. Does he agree to engage in reform for this 2012 election cycle now? Or does he roll the dice in 2012 hoping to persuade Governor Cuomo to back off his promise to veto, or in hopes that somehow the courts will draw uh, be better lines than an independent commission from his perspective? We think that's a gamble. That's a crazy gamble to take. That makes far more sense for the Senate majority to engage in meaningful uh, reform legislation this year uh, to change the way the lines will be drawn for the 2012 election. We are this close in New York. It comes down to the decision of Senator Skelos and the Senate majority as to whether or not real legislation will pass this year or he'll roll the dice and hope that he comes up a winner uh, in June of 2012.